exclusive report by Pentagon's chief ufologist says our Earth is being monitored by a mothership UFO. Sean Kirkpatrick, chief ufologist of the Pentagon, director of AARO, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, which has been formulated by the U.S. military lately, only asserted that there is a possibility that extraterrestrial motherships and smaller probes may be visiting the planet of the planets of our solar system. Before being appointed to his current position at AARO, Dr. Kirkpatrick held the position of chief scientist at the Missile and Space Intelligence Center of the Defense Intelligence Agency. It's evident that over the years, several anomalies have been witnessed in the sky next to aircraft carriers, fighters, and other military installations. There have been several such encounters in U.S. history. Similar ufological ideologies were expressed by the head of the North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD for short, General Glenn Van Herc, a while ago only. It was asserted by him that the Pentagon does not entirely rule out the theory that extraterrestrial beings were responsible for this, the creation of UFOs or UAPs. In recent times, both the armed services and researchers who are participating in the comprehensive study that is associated with alien anomaly have begun using the term unidentified aerial phenomena or UAP in place of the more common conventional formulation of unidentified flying objects or UFOs. This term is both more modern and apparently more credible. Evidently, the chief ufologist of the Pentagon sought inspiration from Avi Loeb, who's become famous for defending the theory that the solar system is being traversed by extraterrestrial alien ship known as Uwama, the interstellar comet, which literally translates to messenger who arrived first from, from afar. Loeb's theories inspired by chief ufologist of the, of the Pentagon and this is the name that has been given to the enigmatic cigar-shaped object that's approximately 400 meters long, that's about 1,000 feet, and was discovered by astronomers from University of Hawaii, October 2017. The trajectory in which the cigar-shaped object was reaching two specific other worlds is this, that is a constellation Virgo, or the unicorn, or the whale, it reached speeds of approximately 100,000 kilometers per hour in flight. The physical appearance of the object was so too complex. It was super bright, shone like metal, had a weird shape, and the most striking feature was that it accelerated as if someone was controlling it. However, the theories proposed by Loeb and Kirkpatrick get more interesting as in the report they argued that the mysterious cigar-shaped spaceship Umwama could have been a mothership a spaceship launching several dozens of ships uh, formulated to explore the Earth and nearby orbit. Loeb and Kirkpatrick said the tactics are not fundamentally different from those used by NASA in their missions. It's possible that the enigmatic objects that have been spotted by U.S. Navy pilots on infrared radars are actually automated probes. The alien probes are so small and reflect so little sunlight, probably that is why the current regeneration of telescopes was unable to detect them when they arrived on Earth. Nevertheless, it appears that one of them was captured, Loeb in particular, uh, and eventually the military, who noticed the object kept the details concerned concerning its passage a secret, relying on the findings of Loeb and his colleague Amir Siraj, on January 8, 2014, a body that was approximately one meter in size and weighed approximately half a ton infiltrated into the Earth's atmosphere on, and on the same day it fell into the Pacific Ocean close to Papua New Guinea. At a speed of 216,000 kilometers an hour, the mysterious object was traveling at a speed that was exactly twice as fast as Umwamwa. Interestingly, this speed is not common for asteroids and meteorites that are moving through space in our solar system. In an article that was submitted to the Astrophysical Journal Letters, the researchers and scientists laid out their assertions and discussed their findings. However, the publication did not go forward as planned. 
the United States Space Command USSC became involved, presumably because Loeb and Siraj were using data obtained from a spy satellite and tracking stations operated by the Department of Defense. The military is able to control the movements of ballistic missiles and recognize nuclear explosions in the assist with the assistance of these bodies. If the data were made public, it would reveal the capabilities of the system. However, all of a sudden, at the beginning of April 2022, Lieutenant General John Shaw, the Deputy Commander of the United States Space Command USSC, sent over a special and detailed memorandum to NASA, and it was acknowledged that scientists had at one point correctly asserted the object's speed. The fact that it is so significant in conjunction with the object's hyperbolic trajectory demonstrates beyond a reasonable doubt that it is not of local origin, but rather of interstellar origin. The location of the point where the object fell into the ground is unidentified. Loeb and now Kirkpatrick, and who understands maybe all of AARO, considers this object to be an automatic alien probe. The dimensions of the region that the expedition will be sent to have been determined by scientists. It will be 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers, which is not so large that success cannot be expected. In addition to that, the object needs to have magnetic properties, and consequently, this will make the, the task simpler. Within the confines of the Galileo Research Project is where the search will be conducted. The funding for the expedition itself is already at its maximum. Additionally, at the same time, it's expected to locate other probes, such as those that are still floating through space and may still be concealed among the myriad of NEOs, that is, near-Earth uh, objects, which we call asteroids, which stand for near-Earth objects. Now, certain plants have been envisaged to look for them using the Vera Rubin Observatory, which will be prepared with a wide, wide, wide angle designed to reflect telescope and will begin taking photographs of the sky from the high mountain Cerro Pachon in Chile in 2023. The observatory will be used to search for extraterrestrial life. And aside from that, there is the possibility that the mothership is another object that is currently stationed in the solar system, and this object could also be the asteroid 2011 AG5, which passed by the Earth at the beginning of February of this year. Multiple images obtained from the 70-meter Goldstone Solar System radar antenna in Southern California revealed that the object had the shape of a cigar and was nearly the same length as Umama, but approximately 600 meters longer, and the course of the events altered as well. More information about this wash can be found here. However, it's not the end of it. It's possible that ships of this kind have already visited our planet in the 1950s. The Black Triangle UFO photograph of a document previously classified by UK Ministry of Defense, according to the website UFO Hotspot Blogspot, the military allegedly attempted to cover the photograph of UFO by claiming that it could not have been the moon. Well, clearly it was not a credible statement, and it's a big preposterous. It's a bit preposterous as well. And in addition, the effort, additional effort to conceal a picture of a UFO prior to it being finally revealed to the public, the name of the person who captured the image was removed from the project's files, as were the majority of the names of those who were associated with it. This was one of the last measures taken before the material was made public. Even the Pentagon is of the opinion that agrees that there could be a possibility of a mothership monitoring the Earth now. Now, in the 1950s picture of the cigar-shaped UFO shows many small probes launched by the mysterious object which is thought to be a mothership. This is evidence that the Pentagon was aware of alien motherships that sent out small probes into the Earth's atmosphere. The most baffling part is why the Pentagon is speaking of such motherships now. Is, or is there any big revelation coming up by the Pentagon? So please leave your, leave your comments about this. This is by Anne Srivastava on Infinity Explorers. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.
kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.